A very good morning to all. In the last class, we started with the chapter Soil Erosion and Soil Conservation. And we learned about soil. We learned about the formation of soil and the importance of soil, etc. So in this class, we are going to learn about soil erosion. So today we learn about what is soil erosion and what are the causes of soil erosion. So what is soil erosion? Have you heard about soil erosion? Do you know what is soil erosion? So soil erosion means it is a process. It is a process by which the top soil, you, are, you learned what is the top soil. In the last class, we learned about different layers of soil. And we learned top soil is the topmost or the outermost layer of the soil. So this top soil gets washed away or blown away. We call it as soil erosion. So what is soil erosion? Soil erosion is a process by which the top soil gets washed away or blown away. We call it as soil erosion. So what are the causes of soil erosion? So do you know what are the causes of soil erosion? It can happen due to natural process or it can happen due to human activities. And do you know what are the natural causes of soil erosion? It can be due to water and wind. It can be due to water and wind. What about human activities that causes soil erosion? It can be because of deforestation, overgrazing, etc. So in detail, now we are going to learn about the causes of soil erosion. So first, let's start with the natural causes of soil erosion. So let me ask you one thing. So do you know which are the two natural agents of soil erosion? That is the wind and water. So soil erosion mainly occurs due to flowing water and wind. So do you believe trees can prevent soil erosion? Yes. So let me give you one example. So first you have to imagine two land. So one land with full of trees and the other land which is barren. So one land with full of trees and the other land which is barren. So there comes the heavy rain. There comes the heavy rain and wind. So do you know which land gets eroded fast? Is the land with full of trees or is the barren land? Which land gets eroded fast? The answer is the barren land. The barren land gets eroded fast. So do you know why? Because barren land means, you know, what is barren land? A land where there are no trees growing. So as there are no trees growing, the land gets exposed to heat and sun. What happens after that? It dries up quickly. And this dried soil, the dried loosened soil gets easily washed away by flowing water and wind. So that is why the barren land gets eroded fast. In the absence of vegetation, soil erosion can occur. What about the first land? The land with full of trees. So will it get eroded? No. Why? Because the plant protects the soil from being eroded. The roots holds the soil tightly and prevents the soil from being eroded. So in the absence of vegetation, soil erosion occurs. So which are the two natural agents of soil erosion? The two natural agents of soil erosion are wind and water. Now let's learn about the human causes of soil erosion. We learned that soil erosion can also happen due to human activities. It can be due to deforestation, overgrazing, etc. So let's see what is deforestation. So what is deforestation? Have you heard this before? So deforestation means cutting down of trees. We can say cutting down of trees or clearing large number of trees from a forest. That is called deforestation. So what is deforestation? Deforestation means cutting down or clearing large number of trees from a forest that we call it as deforestation. So what is this forest? So forest is an area of land full of trees. And we know that what is the importance or what is the advantage of having trees? So the rich growth of trees 
reduce the force of wind and water and prevent the soil from being eroded. And nowadays we can see large number of trees or the areas of forest are being cleared for many purpose for uh, cultivation of crops, for construction of roads, for mining purpose, etc. So the large number of trees and the area of forest are being cleared. So what happens if the forest area is being cleared? The land gets exposed to wind and water. The land gets exposed to wind and flowing water, which leads to soil erosion. So deforestation causes soil erosion. So what about the other human activity that leads to soil erosion? That is the overgrazing. Imagine a situation where there are too many cows and many animals are eating grass in an area. What happens gradually? You can see gradually the land gets barren. So what happens when the land gets barren? When the land gets barren, the land gets exposed to heat and sunlight. Then the top layer of the soil gets easily washed away. And this overgrazing leads to destruction of plants. So overgrazing is also another cause of soil erosion. So what did we learn today? We learned about soil erosion. So what is soil erosion? Soil erosion is a process by which the top layer of the soil, so top layer of the soil is the outermost layer of the soil, the fertile layer of the soil where the plant grows, that the top layer of the soil is washed away by flowing water or blown away by wind. We call it as soil erosion. Then we learned about the causes of soil erosion. It can happen due to natural process, the two natural agents, wind and water. And even it can happen due to human causes, that is by way of deforestation, overgrazing, etc. So these are the causes of soil erosion. Coming to page number 48, there are two questions given. The topmost layer of the soil is infertile, fertile. So what is the answer? The topmost layer of the soil is the fertile soil where the plants grow. The second question, soil erosion makes the soil. So what is the answer? Less, more fertile. So soil erosion makes the soil less fertile. As the top layer of the soil is washed away, the fertility in the soil becomes less fertile. So that's all for today. So let's meet in the next class and we'll discuss a new topic. So till then, thank you.